How's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at another truck. Now, what I mean by another truck, it won't be replacing my GMC. It will be a new addition. Not for sure getting this truck, but saw it on Facebook Marketplace. Seemed pretty legit. Questioned the hell out of this dude about his truck. And uh, yep, this morning, first thing, we're gonna go check it out, see if we like it. All right, we're here. And there's the truck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got done checking out the truck. I'm overall pretty satisfied with it. Um, it's got a few minor things, but uh, overall the truck's in pretty decent shape. Uh, it's got 167,000 miles on it, so pretty low mileage for the year, and it's it's a 2006. Um, it overall, I mean, it's the oil transmission fluid seems to be in good shape. Shifts just fine. I got on it a couple times, and it it, it would actually get up and go. Um, I had a little bit of rust on the rocker panels, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, rocker panels can be replaced anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm um, gonna go to the bank, get some money, meet up with that gentleman sometime either today or later on in the weekend and see if we can make something happen. So I'll catch up with y'all then. All right, here she is, my new to me 2006 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 5.3 two-wheel drive um, I know some people would probably say well, why would you get a, a full-size truck like this that's two-wheel drive usually two-wheel drives you know more of like a like a two-door truck thing but like if you want a full-size truck you're gonna want a four-wheel drive honestly I didn't really care if it had four-wheel drive nice if it didn't I wasn't bothered by it but I think all in all the truck's pretty solid uh it's got a few minor issues with it like one of the probably the biggest ones i've noticed is just uh rust on the rocker panels but that's like the only rust that i've seen so far um obviously this thing is absolutely filthy uh got some ratchet straps in back because i had to haul some barrels but like i said the truck is filthy like the roof is absolutely disgusting the it's been pissing rain so it's kind of cleaned up the truck a smidge but nothing uh nothing major but all in all the truck is in pretty decent shape uh it bothers me that the guy at this truck had three matching wheels and one oddball there so that's that's an eyesore like another little boo boo there more rust on the rock panels, but the interior. So whoever owned this truck before put the full center console in, which they actually saved me the time in doing that. Um, put in a touchscreen radio and yeah, the little bezels popping off all because whoever wired this didn't put then tuck this wire behind all this plastic so i gotta pull this apart and hide that um we'll tuck that all up in there and then i can uh, click that bezel into place but i don't want to force it right now because this old plastic is probably going to snap uh, but yeah it's i mean it's got the uh, leather steering wheel with controls it's even got both speakers so it's pretty clean truck the interior is probably the, one of the nicest things about it because it's whether it's been gutted and replaced either way the interior is in pretty pretty good shape the freaking uh the door handles aren't broken on both sides too i know that's a, a big thing that break on these trucks um it's got the infamous headliner sagging issue but I mean, that's almost to be expected. Uh, I'm not terribly bothered by it. I will probably attempt to fix that at some point later on down the line. But, yeah, not, not terribly upset at it. 
yeah no no major dents in the truck either so it's it's in pretty pretty decent shape someone went ahead and replaced uh, the tail lights i actually think these complement the truck pretty well um, i've never been a big uh red truck type person no matter it'd be a chevrolet or gmc ford because you know ford's grown on me never been big on red but i don't know i just i really think the red I think the the, the two-tone aspect of it as well i think i think it really goes well and yeah whoever ever owned it before put in the the new headlights and silver bow tie actually complements it really well so but yeah guys this is my new to me silverado oh i think i forgot to mention it's got a hundred and sixty going on 163,000 miles and as far as I know, they are original miles, no motor or tranny replacement. So that's, I don't know, I feel like that was a, a good find on my behalf. Um, truck's got plenty of power from what I can tell. Um, the gauge cluster or the dash cluster is a little messed up. So I, I don't know if I got an accurate reading on the gas, but I'm going to fill this bad boy up sometime, reset the trip, and see what we get. So. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I got a lot of things in mind that I want to do to the truck. But for right now, I'm just going to enjoy it bone stock. But of course, I want to make videos to show you guys uh, the progress and everything that I do to it. And uh, hopefully, y'all can give me recommendations along the way and, and what you'd like to see with it. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.